শ্রী দর্শক মণ্ডলী অসংখ্য ধন্যবাদ আমার সাথে থাকার জন্য এবং আমাদের এই প্রোগ্রাম দেখার জন্য আমি মেইন সেগমেন্টে যাওয়ার আগে আমি আপনাদেরকে আবার আমাদের আজকের কুইজটা রিমাইন্ড করে দিচ্ছি আজকের কুইজটা হচ্ছে হোয়াট হোয়াট ডাজ ডোনাল্ড ট্রাম্প হ্যাভ ইন স্কটল্যান্ড এই অয়েল রিফাইনারি বি ব্রেড ফ্যাক্টরি সি এ ল্যান্ড ফর গলফ কোর্স আপনারা আমাদের ইমেল অ্যাড্রেসে ইমেল করে আপনাদের আনসারটা দিয়ে দেবেন Uh, the email address to send your answers to is at pnb channelai your uh, channelai europe dot tv our today segment um, we're going to talk about uh, all about scotland and its independence and uh, why is it necessary um, so andrew from a london uh, point of view because you represent the whole of yes. london do you think um, London is going to be affected uh, if Scotland goes or Scotland is going to be affected because London is the engine as you earlier said it's an interesting uh, question i think it's got because we've been talking about as a result of the scottish referendum we're talking about what pow powers one can devolve uh, we've got uh, the three party leaders going to scotland yeah and uh, they have um, uh, they're not doing the question not time doing either question time they're going to scotland yeah. and they're trying to say to Scotland you can have this power that power and all the rest of it well in london we're saying okay what about us yeah um one of the things that we've been pushing for and the mayor has been pushing for is for there to be more powers for cities to retain some of the some of the wealth that they create uh, so that we can then invest back into the city to make it a a a a, a better place for all our residents and we're trying to persuade the government to do that the much more autonomy for the city mm. um and now that they've offered it to Scotland well we want that as well ourselves i know i mean alex salmon keeps on talking about the oil that he has under the sea yeah. uh is good enough to pump it out but it's all traded on the footsea yes. and it's all traded in from the liverpool uh uh well, post, liberal offices yeah. so well, absolutely <laughs> post independence i mean you know this is why i take a different view from probably most of my party i yeah. think i think it's perfectly okay for scotland to become independent and i would say probably a yes vote is a good idea for them um and but um they've we've got to realize that during the negotiations for the separation we have to talk about where the actual actually That's happens thing, yeah. Uh, people have been drawing a line east west from yeah. Berwick upon Tweed actually yeah. the line does not go east west yeah. it's much more likely to go uh, via further north yeah. so so some of that some of that Scotland's oil is actually England's, England's oil. oil and so uh, but, <laughs> but the, all these kind of negotiations will take place post sure. independence should they vote for that in in terms of the boundary of the of the sea i mean the closest that the closest land to the sea gets the most i would i would have thought and the furthest mm -hmm. gets less yeah. it's it's an accessibility issue i'm i'm not on x i know no, sea neither am i but, uh, but i've you know, just followed a little I, I bit i represent london there's very few sea boundaries in london yeah. <laughs> uh, but but that's as i understand it as a layman and i think there an awful lot has got to be uh, talked about with, with the scots uh, d dividing countries is a very complex yeah. way and and it would be the, the you know we've had precedents before the czech republic splitting yeah. from uh, this uh, sort of everybody's saying don't don't go everybody's kind of saying don't go from uh, barack no, obama barack obama you, except for the european union who thinks that they will have another state and another contribution and I see no reason why the Scots can't you know what ultimately is wrong with self determination the way that they're arguing at the moment they uh, they would actually like Ireland to join the UK now yeah. we had problems with that uh, <laughs> yeah. in the past yeah. i mean that would be I a knock on effect i don't see anything wrong with it at all well, uh, uh, to have that because we negotiate with the, when nation states used to stick to their own boundaries and there was never any internet you know there weren't enough international agreements you could have kind of understand that the UK should stick together but now you know nation state uh, we are so interdependent yeah. we have so many decisions are made in other countries that affect us and the the relationship that we would have with an independent scotland well you virtually virtually wouldn't notice it was another country yeah. people are traveling over europe for example and crossing borders with no problem at all it's and sure. so why should it be such a problem but they they will then have to look at not only not only the pound not only the power but no. also 
um, as you as you mentioned, the um, drawing up the boundary, mm. and then um, and the defense the, the forces, the defense forces, the immigration, mm. how they're going to do it. Mm. I mean, uh, w David Cameron and the whole of the parliament is in a in a bit of a mood of having less immigrants as possible, no, especially with well Europe. And mean. so, how that's going to pan out with Scotland? Mm. Are they going to give a general amnesty? Mm. Uh, once they're, you know, Absolutely. all the all these things needs to be the nitty gritty needs to be looked it's at because going that's going to be yeah. more effective. It's, uh, going to take it's individuals' couple, life, yeah. as you said earlier about council tax and roads, yeah. and that's more more it's of an take issue. It's going to a couple of years before the division actually takes place. Yeah. I believe, or perhaps eighteen months to a couple of years yeah. before, post the vote, we actually separate the and even then we've we've had three hundred years together. Yeah. Um, there are going to be such links between us that even after then we'll still be detaching some of them. Some of them will choose not to detach. I mean, they're still, you know, we still have Irish guards, for example, True, yeah, uh, yeah, in, in the yeah, British yeah, Army. Yeah. I mean, the yeah. history is so yeah, close. And it needn't, you know, we can, we can do that. We can, the Gurkhas. We can go separate <laughs> ways as friends. Yeah. You know, yeah. we don't have to. I mean, to Australia, Australia to still pays the Queen yeah. having the flag in the corner. Absolutely. I mean, Scotland probably would want to, if the, they, if the, they the could have an arrangement. Still be Queen of Scotland. Could, could, yeah, could have an arrangement that, you mm. know. But within, within this, within this uh, uh, empire, I mean, the, the Queen is now saying that don't go while I'm the Queen. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I could I could understand the desire of of yeah. of having that, but during her time she has lost quite a bit of. She had to give up a lot of independence, isn't it? And the last one was in ninety uh, two with uh, yeah. Hong Kong giving it back to China. Yes. Um, so this will be another one hanging handing over the flag. You know, so um, it is a bit of a, you know, and then how does all, uh, all the, the, uh, the uh, Prince of... I must admit, look, I think the No campaign has been dreadful. The No campaign. And the No campaign has been dreadful because, as far as I can see, they've used all the arguments that one could also have used for not breaking up the empire. Yeah. Uh, um, and, and actually, it was a good thing that we broke up the empire. We did it in some dodgy ways in some places, <laughs> yeah. and we could have done them better. <laughs> but it was ultimately good that parts of uh, the, em um, uh, the, the empire had self-determination. Hold now your thought there. We've them. got a caller. We're just going to take that call. Mm. And then. So. Hello, Slaw Alaikum, caller. Hello? Hello, Slaw Alaikum, caller. Slaw Alaikum, how are you? I'm, I'm all right. Um, good. I'm sorry, uh, what's, your, what's your name? Talk about this uh, Scotland referendum. Where, what's your name and where are you calling from? <laughs> My name is Mehdi. Uh, Slaw Alaikum, Mehdi, where uh, I just want to... I talk about this Scotland referendum. Yes. If if um, if you see the reason behind why people want to, I'll, I'll, by the way, I'll support people's independence. If they want to be independent, you're supporting choice, independence. Yeah. So you go and rebuff the government. You. Successive government uh, do not serve people according to the, the way the people vote here, right? People will, is going to say that we don't want to to the union. Now, if you look at your government, as a, you have a guest. I think I believe is a conservative. Um, uh, London GLA member, I believe? Yes, okay. yes, you're correct. Yes. Um, your government and his government, the way all these um, ideological cuts and stuff, because people from Scotland and up north, they're very poor. They're working class people, and your ideological cuts encourage people to break this union. And I just, I think it's, it's sad that um, you use, a pe you use pe your ideology and Supporting the million to punish the supporting the millionaire to punish the million, and I think that that's really sad. Okay, well, thank you, Mediway, for your for your um, uh, views and comments. I mean, hmm. this came out uh, quite often about uh, the power, basically, hmm. that why why should we pay tax and you know the all the MPs are making decisions yeah. there and millionaires are become millionaires, but. Scotland makes its own decision in, in most of the cases from NHS, defence and uh, council tax. They're still one of the, ca one of the um, areas where you still uh, have free education and higher education. So, and then all the parties are saying we're going to give you more of the power if you stay on. Mm. So that should be a good thing, isn't it? Um, I mean, one thing I want to correct is the idea that Scotland's dirt poor, because it isn't. It isn't. It yeah. isn't. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's actually quite a wealthy part of the United Kingdom. Yeah. 
um, and um, it's, it's also been wealthy in the past because of uh, the, the subsidies that it's received from the UK. That's why the Duke wanted to uh, put his name there, Duke of Edinburgh. Well, I think possibly. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know. That. Um, but but the, the principle of self-determination is a strong one. Every, every country has the right to, set, to determine. Yeah. I mean, me having an opinion on it, it doesn't really matter. Because it's actually, probably, it's yeah. down to the Scottish people. Yeah, of course, to the, yeah, I, yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. Why panic? Because yeah. you don't need to panic. There is the the world is not going to fall to pieces. Uh, the sky is not going to fall in. <laughs> the economy is not going to fall to pieces. Yeah. Um, businesses have recent. A lot of businesses have come out and saying, you know, as a result, uh, and, and we've seen the stock market uh, yeah, have it's, a tumble. Yeah, it's bit gone of a down tumble, yesterday. Yeah, bit of a tumble. The pound has because, gone down a bit. Yesterday. Because ultimately, businesses don't like uncertainty. Yeah. As soon as there's some certainty after the referendum, it will start to pick up, and we and, and it will recover. So, I, I'm just saying, be a bit relaxed a, yeah. about it. And with regard to uh, what your caller said, and thank you for, for bringing that up with regard to uh, well, who's going he, on about the cuts. He agrees with you. Uh, he to, agrees with to, on self-determination. The uh, yeah. They then yeah. went on probably to disagree with me yeah. um, on, on, on the, the, the conduct of what yeah. the government's done. You've got to remember, in the, if, if, if you're worried about, about the, the cuts that have taken place in social provision and also, the, you've got to remember the damage that the previous government did to this yeah. economy. Yeah. The severe damage, the worst Which damage... Which was not only for England, but throughout the whole throughout, of the UK. Throughout the UK, the yeah. worst damage to the economy, the worst recession we've had since the 1930s, if not before, beyond that. And they left a note saying there's no money in the coffers. And no money in the coffers. <laughs> and they uh, consistently now say, uh, that, uh, even though we're told, uh, the, the caller obviously sympathised with, with the view that austerity doesn't work. Well... Yeah. Actually, we're the country that's stuck to austerity. Yeah. We're the country that's coming out of, of the recession. One of the fastest we are the fastest Europe, yeah. growing country in Europe. Unemployment is tumbling down. Yeah. Growth is, uh, is increasing. Yeah. Industrial production is increasing. Yeah. But, um, and it is actually because of those, that those difficult decisions, and nobody's yeah. saying they weren't hard yeah. with yeah. regard to cuts. Nobody's saying that weren't cuts, yeah. because there were. Yeah. But we had to do it because the long-term health of the country depended upon us addressing the issue that we were paying far too much, paying much more than we could afford. We were paying uh, for social provision through a credit card. And that's what got us into the problem in the first place. Sure. We yeah. had to pull back on expenditure, yeah. and it has been tough. But the good news is, is that it's working. Yeah, and we are coming and even all the, the all the all the top economists are saying that it, it worked. Uh, the um, IMF um, yeah. secretary Lagarde said that it's it's working. You know, so everybody's put their hat. Or even though initially they were a bit skeptical, I mean, I, 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 but I, now I, they're saying they're they're working. I desperately so. don't want to be a Labour politician at the moment. Yeah. Because they're trying to come up with all sorts of excuses as to why they were right, to, why we were, were right. And all through this period, since two, two, the government got elected in 2010, they would be saying, so it is too deep, too far, it will never work, and we'll have a double dip recession, and we'll go into recession again. And every time Ed Balls opens his mouth, he's proved wrong. Every single time he's proved wrong. And the Labour Party have well, got to accept. Uh, Brown has put a bit of a panic yesterday, isn't it, in the in the yeah. spanner? Um, he he got this um, uh, third idea or something besides the gov three parties <laughs> getting together. So they're always a bit of a um, you know uh, these politicians. They they always bring these kind of kind of uh, uh, panics. Let me ask you. Yeah. Let me ask you this because I've promised the uh, uh, viewers oh, right. that we're going to find out how Scottish you are. Oh right. Okay. So yes. Well, we I've, I've got a Scottish grandfather from Aberdeen. Okay. And uh, I've got, and you I are saying you're grandfather. you're supporting Scottish independence. You're I, separating from your ancestors. Um, no, no, I don't think it's separating. I, mean, I think self-determination is not about separating. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, a lot of your viewers <laughs> are, uh, come from Bangladesh. Exactly. Yeah. Are they, are they saying they really want Bangladesh to be part of the empire? Actually, some, of, <laughs> yes. some of them might. <laughs> might. <laughs> but, yeah. um, but, but no, self-determination is yeah. the fundamental right of every single country. Okay. And I don't see a problem why it should be different for Scotland. We've got the last two couple of minutes. Um, do you think uh, um, Alex Salmon is being a bit of a maverick and a Wallace? Because 
if you look at the history, it was a Scotman who put mm. the, the United Kingdom in the Union, the, you know, King uh, um, Stuart James uh, the Third of England, yeah. uh, first of England and third of Scotland, yes. who brought, Sixth, so. he was the first in, first in Scotland. First and sixth, and wasn't it? Oh, is I it think sixth? First and sixth. Sixth, that's okay. It, yeah. And um, he um, he then put England uh, on the you know the Scotland, mm. Ireland, and Wales together. So there was a Scotsman there back mm. 300 years ago, and now we've got another Scotsman who wants to go out. Yeah. So are the Scots a bit funny in that way that they really don't know what they're doing? Far be it for me to attribute any national <laughs> characteristic to the Scots, but as somebody once said, it's never difficult to tell the difference between a sunny day and a Scotsman with a grudge <laughs> and um, and they have you know occasionally get a bit curmudgeonly and they change their minds and they can be stubborn but that's what we love about the Scots mm -hmm. um, that's what they brought to this uh, marvelous uh, entity <laughs> that we call the United Kingdom over 300 years it's time the United Kingdom had a different kind of look I think and and I think Scottish independence uh, it's not a problem. I don't think the, wa the Welsh will follow. I don't think there is an appetite in Wales for independence. Um, so possibly not. And Northern Ireland are the terrible problem. With I think that if Scotland goes, they're probably going to try to go too. Oh, we've got, the history we've is got literally That's 20 seconds. Yeah. So if you want to say something to the viewers for the Bengali channel, channel I, and then we will, we will take the exit. It's all yours. Well, I mean, if I've got this advantage, I, I'd like to talk to those um, uh, those viewers, of possibly in 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 Beckton, actually, because I know that you've got a by-election coming up on Thursday, and I very much hope um, that you will vote for the Conservative candidate there, who's um, who's somebody who believes uh, that uh, Muslim voters. Uh, voice needs to be heard okay. in, in Newham, especially I'll, strongly. I need to finish it there. Thank you. Shudhi Dashak Mandali, aapne aaj jaake bhoot diven, aapne dhe nijadhe moto bhoot diven, nijadhe chinta haapne kore bhoot diven, aamadhe conservative lo kashti bole, tada 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 bol chhe, aapne aapne dhe nijadhe moto decision niye niven. Shudhi Dashak Mandali, aar shabne shabte aapne shat aapar dha khao be, aajam bai thak bhe aapne shate. Thank you. Asalaamu alaikum.